I'm standing here with a startup king, Mike Cassidy. Um, thank you so much for joining, uh, joining us. Um, entrepreneurs uh, are rarely succeed in Silicon Valley, much less repeat success. What's your superpower? So I've been very lucky. Um, I always um, believe in something called what I call speed is the ultimate strategy. So I believe if you move very quickly in all of your startups, you have a better chance of success. Uh, it helps you keep high morale among your team. It helps you beat your comp competition to market. And it helps you um, basically get higher valuations when you're raising money or, or selling the company. So I think speed is the way to, uh, to success. Every idea you touched turned golden, and I'm, I'm just so proud to be standing next to you. Um, how did you start, um, how did you begin with startups? So I started my first uh, startup when I was still in business school, and um, a friend and I started it while I was still a student. Um, and it may seem like all of them are successful from the beginning, but in fact, four out of five times, the initial idea didn't work. We had to change direction, come up with something new, but if you sort of get into the market, down the roller coaster of the highs and lows. And I think for myself, I tell, I tell myself when things are looking pretty grim and pretty gloomy that I've been through the, you know, the valley of death before and as, I've come back and just remind myself, okay, I don't see the path out right now, but I know I've come through the bad parts before, so I, hopefully it'll happen again. Awesome. Mike, what were you like as a child? <laughs> Um, probably pretty energetic. Um, my, my another philosophy I have is make every day an adventure. So I think even as a child, I wanted every day to be an adventure. Um, so I think life should be an adventure. And what's a day um, in the life of Mike Cassidy like? Uh, well, I mean, I only sleep about five and a half hours. So uh, I guess a day is about you know twenty and a half hours long, or nineteen and a half hours long, eighteen and a half hours long. I have to do my math correctly. Um, I bike to and from work, which I love. It's a half an hour each way. Um, I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunchtime. Um, it's a very, very busy day. Uh -huh. I, I get between 400 and 450 emails every day, so I have to be very quick at responding to emails. Um, and I try to be very efficient about time. So like if I'm ever driving somewhere, I'll have a couple calls scheduled or um, just try to be very efficient about time. Awesome. And is there something about Mike Cassidy that we don't know? Um, I, I play piano. I can. I love jazz. I went to Berkeley College of Music, so I'm a I'm a jazz musician. So if there's a piano around, I could play jazz for you. Oh wow! Do we have a piano yeah, around here? <laughs> I knew there wouldn't be one. <laughs> right. Um, and then, what's your um, suggestion to startups as a number one approach to um, get your startup up to speed? Um, so I believe in basically jumping in early. Don't. Don't spend a year thinking about a product and building a product. I always tell people, figure out what you can build in three months and build that. And if it, maybe it's not a very fully featured product, but it's got a core feature to it. And so if it, I think the benefit of getting in and getting the user feedback early is worth way more than polishing your, your product. I mean, Reid Hoffman even had a saying, if you're not embarrassed by what your product looks like when you launch it, you waited too long. Ah. Okay. Good one. Thank you so much, Mike Cassidy. Thank you. Thanks.